Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Meghan Markle cries wedding racism. Queen gives her royal smackdown. Meghan Markle tried to outwit the Queen as shocking allegations of racism tied to the royal wedding are erupting. This caused a palace showdown with the British monarch Clivet after Princess Pushy's role in the salacious press reports have come to light. Queen Elizabeth isn't playing Markle's game, and she gave her a proper royal smackdown that Meghan won't soon forget. Meghan Markle is a leaker. Yes, the Queen found out some time ago that Ms. Markle had been the one who leaked to Vanity Fair that she was in a relationship with Prince Harry. Once a leaker, always a leaker, and Princess Pushy is quite adept at creating her own PR. As an actress, this is second nature to her, and she used it to her advantage when she wanted the world to know that she was dating one of the most eligible bachelors in the world. According to royal expert Lorraine Kelly who has been covering Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for the British outlet The Sun, Harry had been duped to believe Meghan was under attack when the press found out they were dating. Yet, immediately after someone leaked their relationship to the press, Meghan was ecstatic inviting Vanity Fair into her home for a tell-all interview, and she scored the cover of the popular magazine. Back in September 2018, Kelly reported in The Sun, I reckon Prince Harry's girlfriend has scored a spectacular own goal by invading her own privacy and adorning the front cover of Vanity Fair while trilling about how much they both love each other. I had a great deal of sympathy for Meghan Markle when, at the end of last year, Prince Harry was forced to ask the world's media to give her a bit of privacy and leave them both in peace. She adds, he clearly believed she was being harassed and even said that some of the coverage was damaging. He also expressed his regret at not being able to protect her from all the attention. His pleas would have cut more ice if Meghan hadn't then invited a glossy magazine into her Toronto home and happily chatted about her love life, as well as her career as one of the cast of TV show Suits. To say Princess Pushy is a drama queen is an understatement. She isn't the shy Diana running from the press, she's a professional actress who loves all the media coverage. She had PR firms working on her behalf to get her into the news. So, it's a no-brainer that she leaks to the press, probably by a third party, the type of stories she wants to be written about her and her leftist political views. No doubt this is what happened last December when at a private Christmas party the Queen's favorite cousin Princess Michael of Kent was called a racist for wearing an antique black Amur brooch. The British press erupted with pics of Princess Michael wearing the brooch after someone at the behest of Markle leaked this Nothing Burger story. As Mad World News previously reported, the black Amur brooch is not racist. In fact, the brooch Princess Michael wore looks like the image of the Black King who visited the Christ child, which would be appropriate to wear to a Christmas event. Now, we have new reports about Princess Michael offending Meghan's close friend Serena Williams, the professional tennis player, who was invited to the wedding. Yet again, we have a leaked unverified story first published in Meghan's go-to media outlet, Vanity Fair, and then picked up by the Black Entertainment Network, BET. BET reports, Ever since their engagement there has been some problematic behavior coming from over the pound, sick. Harry and Meghan received racist hate mail and the UK press have described Meghan as if she is a thug from South Central. However, the foolishness has also come from the royal family. According to Vanity Fair, Otish Tassir, an ex-boyfriend of the Princess of Kent's daughter, claims Princess Michael named her two black sheep after Venus and Serena, which is seriously disturbing. This is according to this guy, Otish Tassir who is recalling events from the early 2000s, so almost 20 years ago. There is no doubt the Queen is livid that her favorite cousin is once again maligned in the press tied to Princess Pushy. Nothing happens by accident, this Vanity Fair piece which goes on to make a case for pulling out of Brexit is exactly the same stance Meghan Markle took publicly. Elle magazine reports, during the week of the EU referendum last June, Markle posted a photograph of someone holding a pro-EU placard during a protest in London. Around the time she was visiting her royal beau in Blighty. The photo focuses on the sign, which reads, If EU leave me now you take away the biggest part of me. Meghan captioned the post, If EU leave me now. Hashtag Brexit Hashtag Parliament Hashtag Referendum Hashtag London. Royals are not allowed to take political stances, they are to remain neutral. However, Meghan Markle has been a huge liberal political activist for years, and it seems she is now going through third parties pushing her political agenda and smearing Princess Michael who she sees as a racist. The Queen knows every move she makes and has by now given Princess Pushy the royal smackdown. The question remains will Meghan Markle be able to stop her shenanigans? If not, this will cause a huge rift in the royal family, and if Princess Pushy thinks she is going to take on the British monarchy and win, she is sorely out of her depth. 
They will send her packing so quick that her pretty little head will be spinning, and her big dream will end as quickly as it began. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.